Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Abe Ross Games, where we're continuing our Doki Doki Literature Club adventure. I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. I don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good at it yet. Still. Well, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm impressed. Ah, well, thanks, Jerry. You can pay for us here sometime. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, McNabb and Sand. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah. <sighs> I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Up, up, up. Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club, or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not... Not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. McNarpinson. Um... Since your compliments put me in such a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Ah, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you, after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there. See? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. What is going on? What's the story about anyway? Well, hmm. I look over at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse. And they just start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Uh, oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. <coughs> that might be a little bit of gross. But anyway, I, I'm really into it. Yeah, you sound like you'd be into it, you freak. I mean, nothing. The book, I mean. Not, not, not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came out of nowhere. Ah. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, McNarpinson? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Or I'll have to disembody your limbs and attach them to... I don't want to spoil it. <sighs> yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that kind of story. Ooh, that kind of story. It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. What is going on? Then suddenly, I, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... 
I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writings fill my thoughts, my whole body be- I don't like this game, it's really creeping me out, guys. <laughs> I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. Alright, stop. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. Except for that talking too much thing. Jesus Christ. That just means you're passionate about your reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah! That's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? Uh, uh, no. 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 None of that. None of that. Alright? None. Yeah, you take all of that and divide it by zero, which is impossible, which equals none. None of that. Absolutely none. You hear me? I will not tell you again. Absolutely none of it. Ye yes. I, I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if it sits here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. <laughs> Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. <laughs> Sorry! I was just bathing in- What? Oh my good god! Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Here. This should work, right? I slide my desk up until it's against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah. Uh, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean <laughs> once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the pages. Here. Yuri takes the left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumbs and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Don't you dare tempt me, you seductress! I love that Suki! You will never be that Suki! Never! Are you ready? Sorry, yeah, I was lost in thought. Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. 
We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page before me, so I turn it by, its own, by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Uh, no, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, uh, that's what you were talking about. It's, sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling all right? <laughs> Yuri's been a little fidgety over <laughs> ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. A tall glass of water like yourself should suit me just fine. All right, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? McNappin, son. Did something happen just now? Huh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. N no nothing. Up, up, up. Don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd start without her. Is that okay? Yep. Oh. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I right, stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. So bookmarks are for. Who should I show my poem to first? I'm not sick. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I'd be completely pissed. Can I help you, Mutt? Sorry, my pupper's 10K is all up in my face while I'm recording. He just needs some attention. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in this club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care, but you spend your time with it, but... After all, I was trying never to expect anything from anybody. So it's nothing like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you see I just took over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. <gasps> um... What... In the world... Is this Ooga Magoo? Um, care the people with your favorite fractures, jerkers are equal equal. That's beautiful, Natsy. It's beautiful. Thanks. McNapperson, 
Why didn't you come here with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Okay? Uh, 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 I don't like it. You don't hate me, Miss Jefferson, do you? Uh, no. No, Natsuki, you're the best. You're the best. You're the best, Natsuki. I would never hate you. I could never hate you. Do you hate me? Do you want me to make me go home crying? No, no, Natsuki, I never want you to cry. No, no, I'd never do that to you. The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. I won't. I won't, Natsuki. I won't ruin it for you, I promise. Don't. Runes, please, just start talking to Yuri, play with me instead, it's all I have, play with me, play with me, uh, okay, I'll play with you. I'll play. Whoa, oh my God! What the? F what? Am I <laughs> no, no more. <laughs> 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 You want to yell at her neck broke. Yuri's freaking out. And she lies dead. Ziggy's neck's all creeped neck lady. No, what anymore? You can't make me anymore. <laughs> all right, guys. I think we got to save it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video. If you guys want to see me play any other games, please comment them down below. And I will definitely check them out. Give you a little shout out in the video. If you guys want to join the Abros family in the psychotic videos I keep playing, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Join the Abros family. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Later. Um, jump on board if you're down.